Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I want to apologize ahead of time. I'm currently fighting a cold right now and I'm still dealing with my other issues, but today I wanted to quickly update you all on the recent changes in Titanfall 2. In case you didn't know, Titanfall 2 has been somewhat unplayable on the official servers due to the DDoS attack that happened all the way back in July of 2021. And pretty much anyone who owned the game could only really play the single player unless you were comfortable enough downloading the North Star client. For anyone that doesn't know about Northstar, I made a video talking about it a few months back. Northstar was a community created client that allowed people to bypass the official servers to actually be able to play the multiplayer without having to worry about being disconnected constantly. It also opened the doors for modding within Titanfall 2 and allowed people to actually apply other fan made creations within the game itself. This client alone had single handedly kept Titanfall 2 afloat after the DDoS attacks occurred. But to my surprise, a few weeks ago, the servers have mysteriously been fixed meaning Respawn has finally come back to their roots and have fixed their own game. Not only that, but the playlists are now getting updated routinely and even more players are returning back to this beloved game. For those that don't check the Steam DB website, I don't know why you would, but Titanfall 2 has seen a surge of players recently, and I think it's safe to say that this game has finally been revived by its own creators. Nearly 20,000 concurrent players is nothing to scoff at, especially if we go back to before this all began. Nearly 3,000 players had actively been playing the game, and that was solely people that were enjoying either the wonderful single player, or players that would have been on the North Star client. This has been an interesting time, mostly because it sparked a bit of debate within the community as to what Respawn is planning on doing next. With Apex Legends being a faithless successor to the franchise, the fanbase is currently wondering what this all means for the future. Respawn has been creating multiple IPs that have all been super successful over the years and it wouldn't surprise me if we got a sudden announcement to another Titanfall game. Respawn even leaked a few coded messages recently that hinted to the dates of the releases of each of these games in the series, so I think it's a very good possibility that we might actually hear something soon. Another interesting secret within this message is the fact that it's called Subject Nessie. For those that aren't aware, Respawn has been putting multiple Nessie plushies throughout their games specifically within the games all relating to Titanfall. These Nessie plushies have been a way of telling the community what the devs are actually up to. Normally you can find these Nessie plushies in areas revolving around the out of bound glitches that have been patched by the devs, and some are even hidden around the map like little easter eggs waiting to be found. I think Respawn has finally realized how many people actually enjoy Titanfall, and are finally giving back to an already starving community. I know others and myself are hoping for a Titanfall 3. I'd love to be back in the pilot seat controlling BT once again, or even getting some updated maps and weapons that fit within the lore surrounding Apex Legends. Regardless, I wanted to do my due diligence and update you all on what's happening with Titanfall 2. If you haven't yet played this game, I couldn't recommend it enough. Its fluid fast paced combat is beyond comparable to most modern day shooters, and if the casual multiplayer doesn't grab you, then the amazing single player campaign surely will. I hope you get out there and join the ranks of the many returning back to Titanfall 2. And if you're already a fan of Titanfall, I'd love to hear what you think Respawn is going to do next. Anyways, I'm going to go hop into another match. My name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take it easy.